Hayden Hillier Smith is often regarded as one of the most legendary editors on YouTube. He's edited for Logan Paul, Mr. Beast, and some of the biggest names on the platform. But a while ago, he launched a $450 editing course that promised to teach you how to edit like an artist. And then he completely vanished from the platform for 11 months. Was it because the course made him rich beyond belief? Or was it because negative reviews started pouring in? Today, we're gonna find out. One thing that immediately impressed me was how the course is actually edited to match the principles that Hayden teaches. You're not just getting jump cuts and crappy screen recordings, overused generic background music that you're used to in all the other editing courses. Instead, you'll notice things like the background music slowing down when Hayden has a sudden realization, or comedic time lapses that break the fourth wall on purpose. It's subtle, but it subconsciously teaches you storytelling without you even realizing it. And it's little stuff too. Like he jump scared the crap out of me on one of the lessons where he was teaching you how horror editing works. Boom! The desk game. So I guess it works. It's clear the course wasn't just filmed, it was directed. This actually became a problem later on in the course because I noticed something about Hayden felt off the entire course. But before I address that, if you want to see how viral editing really works, I put together a free guide called The Viral Editing Secrets that has helped me generate over 500 million views for clients. The link's in the description. Go check it out. Here's the deal. I watched the entire Hayden Hillier Smith course start to finish. My brain was fried. I'm going to break it down brutally, but fairly. What you get, who it's actually for, and if it's actually worth $450, I'm also going to show you what no one else is talking about, what's missing. And honestly, I was hoping to learn something new because the best editors know you never really graduate. You just get better at noticing what you used to miss. Okay, right at the beginning of the course, Hayden admits he had a really hard time organizing his thoughts for the masterclass, which is okay. However, this resulted in him having to use a teleprompter for the entire course. And honestly, you can kind of feel it sometimes. The delivery doesn't feel as natural as his YouTube videos normally are. Especially with his eyes looking through you, not at you. The course is about four hours of video content across 35 lessons. Sounds great, right? Well, not exactly. Some of these lessons are only one to two minutes long. Four of them are just summaries of earlier lessons. Now, personally, I'm not a big fan of paying $450 to be reminded, this is what you learned today. In a recap, a person who invests hundreds of dollars into their education ain't looking for no summaries. They're expecting every minute to be packed full of value, not filler. But what's worse than that is that there's no raw footage for students to work with, no community to collaborate with other editors, and nowhere to find editing jobs. It's purely Hayden talking to a camera. And at the end of each chapter, Hayden gives you homework. But it always felt like a box they had to check rather than something that's actually meant to be transformational. He literally goes like this, and I'm, I promise you, I'm not making fun of him. This is straight up. I love his accent. It's a beautiful voice. Here's how it goes. I just taught you this, this, and this. Now go in your editing software and go ahead and try it out. It's like, bro, nobody in their right mind is going to listen to Hayden talk for an hour after spending hundreds of dollars and go noise and then continue on about their day as if nothing happened without 
applying what they just learned. Hayden, we don't need to be told to do that. So is it worth $450? Here's the honest answer. Production value, 10 out of 10. I mean, just look at the crew, W crew. Now, storytelling insights, eight out of 10. Will it save you time? Yes, if you're new to editing psychology. Will it make you money? No, not directly. If you're an intermediate editor who's never studied editing psychology before, I'd say it's maybe worth around 300 to $350. But if you've already watched all of Hayden's YouTube channel and his editing podcast, you've already absorbed about 90% of this course for free. This just condenses it down into one sitting, which could definitely be useful for a lot of people. I mean, what do you think is a fair price for an editing course? Comment down below. Now, if you're a beginner, you're gonna love this course. Hayden explains every concept assuming you know nothing. Intermediates? You'll squeeze out maybe 20 to 30% more value compared to just binging his free videos. Now for professionals, you're gonna feel validated, but you're not gonna feel transformed. However, if you're looking for next level tactics you haven't seen before, surprisingly, you're not gonna find them in Hayden's course. And here's something you may not notice at first. Hayden's course almost assumes you already work with a major YouTuber or brand. It's all about making the videos you work on even better, but there's barely any training on how to actually climb the ladder from smaller projects to bigger ones. If you're chasing your first big client, there's no real roadmap for you. Now that begs the question, does Hayden actually teach in the course or is he just yapping? Actually, it's a mixture of the two. 80% is philosophy and storytelling theory. 20% is actual problem solving. One of my favorite parts of the course is a concept he calls the wall. I'm not gonna spoil it, but it's a very clever way to visualize the story beyond the timeline. And honestly, even if you're an experienced editor, that lesson is very fun to watch. Actually, it's so good that I'm just now realizing why I wasn't satisfied by the rest of the course. And it's because of one big missing piece. At no point does Hayden work on a brand new edit with a real deadline. Everything is Here's what I did in the past. Every editor who's ever stayed up past 2 a.m. knows the real learning comes from being under pressure. Imagine how valuable the course would have been if we got to actually see Hayden forced to make decisions under pressure and come up with new creative ideas because of it. And not only that, Hayden never gives you raw footage to practice with. And that's huge. If all you ever do is edit footage that's shot on a phone, you'll never prepare your brain to handle the chaos of working with real clients. Real client footage is messy. It's inconsistent. It's high resolution, but you have to figure out how to stitch stories together out of broken pieces. And if you don't train on that kind of material, you're going to plateau faster than you think. It's like practicing to run a marathon but you only run on treadmills. That's why inside the Elite Editor Academy where I train editors how to actually secure high paying clients, you get real raw footage from actual clients to practice on and actually get to see the high pressure decisions I have to make as the editor of a client with nearly 4 million subscribers all under a brutal 48 hour deadline. And just to be clear, the Academy is not only about landing clients. It's built to help editors master storytelling at a deeper level. Like why certain musical instruments naturally spike the heart rate and blink rate. Why a mistimed shift of the eyes can make a creator feel untrustworthy. Or how the right pacing can feel authentic or make people start doubting you without even knowing why. And then 
it bridges the gap that most courses leave wide open. How to actually turn your creativity into a thriving career and triple your rates. And this is why storytelling alone isn't enough. Better editing doesn't always mean better pay. If you don't know how to position yourself differently to clients, you can easily stay stuck at $200 an edit just like I was even after mastering all the principles taught in Hayden's course. Now that I'm making $2,000 to $3,000 per edit, it's very clear to me that editing skill was only half of the equation. Positioning is what changed everything. So it's okay to want to edit like an artist, but you don't want to be a starving artist. Another thing to note, Hayden's course barely covers software. And honestly, good. You can learn Premiere Pro and Final Cut tips and tricks in a week if you're hungry enough. But understanding how humans experience stories, that'll take you years without proper guidance. Now, after going through the entire course, you're probably wondering, is there anything that actually changed the way that I edit? No. The course was just a form of validation that I was on the right path. But I didn't need that because I already knew the path was good. But if I had to pick a specific technique that I enjoyed the most, it would have to be Hayden's take on the Pope in the Pool, which is when you hide boring information inside of visually interesting scenes. It's not a technique he actually invented. It's actually from one of the most popular screenwriting books of all time, Save the Cat. But I definitely enjoyed when he showed examples of films using that trick. But it's time for the final verdict. Is Hayden's course a scam? Absolutely not. He delivered exactly what he promised on the sales page. Nothing more, nothing less. If you want to fall deeper in love with storytelling, it's genuinely valuable. If you want to raise your rates and build a team of editors, this ain't going to do it for you. So why did Hayden disappear for 11 months after launching this course? Was it because the course flopped behind the scenes? Was he secretly building something even bigger? Or did he run out of editing knowledge to teach? Actually, it's simpler than that. He's just enjoying life. Sometimes as editors, we forget there's a life beyond the computer screen. And when you do step away, something interesting happens. You come back smarter. Andrew is proof of that. He joined the academy, used the masterclass principles, got a $6,000 raise, and made an edit so good, I genuinely thought my own job was at risk. What happened next completely changed his career, and it might just change yours too. And you can watch that video here.